Hi, I'm RLB and I'm here with another Japanese subscription box for you and this time the offending boxes. Japan Yum, November 2015 edition. So, let's see what they got for us this month. Mm -hmm. So we have eight things I see on here. And at the bottom it says, give Japan Yum for the holidays. Save $5 on a gift subscription with coupon holiday gift. So that's nice. Do you want to give your Japan loving family member a little something extra for Christmas? All right, so what we see here is a giant bag of these Kalbi shrimp chips. Uh, Japan's popular shrimp chips. Did you get wasabi or hot garlic? I hope I got wasabi, but nah, I got hot garlic. Ah, uh, it's okay. I guess if I had to choose between the two, hot, you know, wasabi or hot garlic, you can't really be a loser out of the choices of either of those, can you? I don't think so. I remember we had these before and I didn't like them because I felt like they were too shrimpy. I mean, real shrimp doesn't taste as shrimpy as this snack. So I'm hoping that the hot garlic will replace the shrimpy taste. We'll see. Mm. Mm. Ooh, this is hot. It's kind of burning the back of my throat. They're still pretty darn fishy. Not my favorite. Um, they just mm, went a little easier on that. At least for my taste. I mean, obviously, you can't please everybody, and I'm just some some crazy uh, gaijin. So, anyways, um, yeah. But it's a uh, it's definitely a hot garlic product because it's burning my throat. Let's just get a little sip. Hmm. Okay. So. Next up, I see a DIY kit. This says, Maruda Ice Cream DIY Candy Kit. Make your own foamy cider flavored ice cream with this DIY candy kit. Cute. Hmm. Oh, it seems pretty simple. Apparently on the back you just put the powder in the little tray that I can feel is in here, mix some water in it, and then scoop it up and put it in a little ice cream cone, which I guess would also be in here. Well, that's cool. Neat. Next thing I see looks like some senbei. The good thing about Japan Yum is although their boxes are small uh, right now at this point in time, they really have unique stuff. Um, they put stuff that not every other box, you know, in includes. They are definitely trying to go for the uh, more elusive flavors of Japan. Which, you know, I'm all for because it's fun to get all the fun snacks, but it's also neat to try the authentic stuff, too. So this is called Maruhiku Uni Suki. Crunchy rice cracker nuggets made with sea urchin. Yay, sea urchin. All right. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. I guess my hesitancy was because when you eat sushi, you see your chin to me. Looks really gross. It's like mango pudding or something in a sushi, you know, like a roll or something. But uh, I don't taste anything that's gross. So <laughs> it tastes pretty good to me. There's no real distinct flavor. It just kind of tastes like a fried rice cracker to me. So, very good. Mmm. The dreaded green tea. So here we have some Pocky. Glico Matcha Chocolate Pocky. Chocolate covered green tea biscuits sprinkled with green tea flakes. Oh, great. Green tea flakes. That sounds really green teeny. Oh, this one just happened to break in half. What a shame. It's pretty. I mean, green's like my favorite color, but not when it tastes like this. Hmm. 
Actually, I have to say that wasn't too bad. I don't know. It tastes pretty decent. I think this is, I, I can say this is probably the first green tea product that I've had out of all the boxes we've had so far that uh, didn't completely make me want to spit it out. Like if I had nothing else to eat and they gave me this, I could finish it. So yeah, not bad. Amazing. I don't know how they did it. Moving on. <clears throat> Lychee gummy candy. Hmm. This says, Japan's famous sweet gummy candies. Which flavor did you get? Oh. Oh, okay. So this, um, the picture says peach gummy. So apparently they got a whole bunch of different flavors. I got lychee. Not, I don't know too much about lychee. We had a lychee drink a couple of months back, and I was like, hmm, didn't like it. I think it tasted, like, florally. Hmm. Oh, it's very soft. Very soft and squishy and frosted, uh, clear type gummy. Hmm. Now, there's that floral kick again. It's really weird. My husband and I agreed that it tastes florally for some reason. Can't figure out why, but. You know, like kind of flowery, floral, flower. Hmm. All right, next up is something that everybody loves. Looks like strawberry marshmallows. Uh, it says, why don't these exist in America? Because <laughs> they, they do. They just all come from Japan. <laughs> hmm. It's weird. This is not a jelly. It's like a paste. Normally there's like like a little squirt of jelly in there, you know, like it's clear and kind of gummy like, but this is definitely a paste. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is really neat. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a paste in there, not a jelly. So very good. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm going to save this one for my husband because he loves strawberry. And I know that he'll like that it's different than all the other ones we've ever tried. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so this thing I'm looking at is really interesting. This is not a cookie you see every day. It says this is Atsuyaki Ratsu Kasenbe. Say that three times fast. A traditional Japanese-style peanut butter cookie topped with peanuts. Now, I know peanut butter cookies, and this is not your everyday average peanut butter cookie. Especially because there's little peanut sprinkles on the top. Generally, if you get peanuts in an actual peanut butter cookie, if they do anything, I've seen them sprinkle bits on the top, but normally it's just incorporated into the cookie. So, hmm. Peanuts. Okay, wow, this is just really unique. I guess it's sort of a cookie consistency, but it's hard baked. I mean, there's no chewiness about this. Kind of like a hockey puck. Mmm, <laughs> oh my God, it's really good. Or maybe I just haven't had a peanut butter cookie in a long time. Mmm, good. So this just tastes like a peanut butter cookie that got not necessarily overbaked, but it was baked and then set out for to dry and harden for a couple of weeks. It's still really good though. It's really flavorful. And I made sure I took a bite of one of the peanuts that was off to the side here. Very good. It's not as sweet as what we're used to. Like, you know, you get the cookie mix, peanut butter cookie mix, and you make the little hash marks uh, with a fork. Um, definitely not as sweet as that. It's still really good though. Yeah, I approve. Mm. All right. So, well, already we're down to the last 
snack, and that's a shame. But it says I do get a bonus snack. That's nice. So this is Kuri Monaka Bean Cake, a traditional Japanese Monaka wafer cake with a sweet bean paste. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is neat. <laughs> yeah, this is like, I think it's the first time I've ever gotten, it's got a little a bit of kanji at the top and at the bottom or the bottom and the top, I don't know. It's definitely like a wafer. That is definitely true. And then I guess the bean paste is on the inside. This is really neat. My allergies are acting up the last couple of days. Hmm. Let's see. All right, pull the piece off so you can see what it looks like. This is obviously not a red bean cake. This is some other kind of bean cake. It tastes kind of smoky. weird it's just like a like a hardened jelly really kind of sticky it's just it's just weird kind of like mochi hmm. it's okay I mean I don't necessarily like the flavoring of the bean paste but it's definitely an interesting thing you could bring back from Japan and say hey try this bean cakes so it says, we get another bonus snack, and we got one last month because I filled out a survey, an email survey that they had sent to me, and said, here, here's your bonus gift, and it was um, a snack. I forget um, which exact one it was. But then it says, bonus snack, you shared a photo of Japan Yum as thanks. Share this extra snack with a friend. Enjoy Japan Yum. Well, uh, yeah, I, uh, I did that. <laughs> I also did a YouTube video on it, so... Oh, I see. It's just another, it's just another DIY kit for the, um, for the thing here. The, um, cone. You know what I could do? We've got plenty of time left. We've only got, we've only been down, let's see, it's 12 minutes. I could do this because it looks so darn simple that I could probably just do it here. So maybe I'll do that. Unless it asks me to measure. 10 cc's. Hmm. It does ask me to measure. Let's see. Well, let's at least look inside. <clears throat> Aw, it gives you three little conies. Oh, awesome. Look at this little spoon. And a tray to make the stuff in. And this powder. All right, so what I'll do is I will pour the powder into this little tray. And then, it's actually really grainy. Hmm. All right. That's what it looks like. Now, I will be right back. I'll go get 10 cc's of water because that part you can actually read on the back. It says actually 10 cc's, which is really nice because, you know, it's important to get the right mixture. Otherwise, it's too hard or it's too soft, uh, or not too soft, it's too liquidy. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got our 10 milliliters slash cc's here. So I'm going to put them in. All right, Oop. And now to stir. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, this puffy, foamy stuff. Mmm. Yeah, it definitely smells like ramen -A slash cider. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm stirring it up. Here I go. It's definitely very foamy. It's like bubbles in a bubble bath. A little mini bubble bath right here. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to get, like, a little bit of a heavier consistency or if it's just going to be pretty foamy light like this. I guess it's just going to be light. <clears throat> so we take our little mini cone 
and scoop up a bunch of the stuff. Here it is. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty sour. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, this definitely has a kick to it. Woo! Mmm. It's, um, it's a little weird. But, you know, your kid might love it. <laughs> Or you might love it. Not my favorite thing. But it was fun to make and it took just a few seconds, literally. All you need to do is measure the water properly. All right, so that was it for our box, uh, Japan Yum Box. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye for now.